Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So what do you do when you have about a million cobblestone and stone and all that good stuff and you don't know what to do with it? Well, I will tell you, you build more castles. <laughs> As you can tell here, I have been incredibly busy making a brand new castle and I've done a lot off camera. <laughs> and that's because uh, this is going to be a really big project. So if we want to fit it into one video, we're going to have to move quick here. Quick cuts and big progress. Since you guys seem to really like uh, this build and I had a really fun time making it, I thought it'd be an awesome project this week to make a new one, only bigger and better. And it's probably going to be kind of like the new base section, because if I come on up here, just to show you guys my thought process here, uh, if I free camp down, the base is actually right here. And this hill is full. So we could easily dig this whole thing out into the hill and make a brand new section to the base because I have some pretty big farms that probably won't fit inside uh, what we have already. And I don't want to just like dig out big areas further deeper down into the base because it's getting kind of to be uh, a really big maze. <laughs> and also, I started working on this bridge over here, um, the bridge to nowhere right now because the original idea was to put the castle on this hill but I think this one just looks better <laughs> and I really like the cliff face here so we're gonna have to tear this down or maybe move it I don't know what do you guys think I'll leave it up for now but uh, I'd love some feedback on what to do with this bridge so okay that was a really long-winded intro <laughs> I'm just really excited uh, to show you guys the castle but uh, so far as you can tell it's not much, right? Uh, it's still a lot of outlines and shapes, and that's because I'm still uh, blocking it out and trying to figure out where stuff is going to be, because right now I, I want the silhouette of the thing to look good before I get really crazy into the detail and everything. And the goal is to get it to go all the way to the water, but I'm um, realizing how hard that is. I just had to re-record a good like 10 minutes of footage because I realized how absolutely negative and depressed I sounded uh, building this. <laughs> um, I think it's important sometimes to just take a break, walk away and you know, think of your idea and come back later because otherwise you can get burned out really quick on a big project like this, especially if you're playing in survival and it's unplanned, right? Because a lot of it has been torn down and built back up and torn down again. So uh, you can probably tell that I've changed some of the towers here, uh, primarily this first one right here, if I look up, right here, and also the next one over there. And I've added some roofs, and now it's really starting to have some color and some more detail. Uh, I think we're gonna take a break from actually building the structure because I'm losing my mind <laughs> trying to figure it out. And we're gonna try to do some detail work on it just to give us an idea of how it's gonna look finished so I can remind myself why I'm building it and why I like the game. Let's start with this face here because I think this is the longest piece that we have. So I realized that I do a lot of this part of uh, Minecraft off camera and I thought maybe it would be interesting to show you guys my process because I usually just clip from a uh, completely finished like shell like this to completely finished detailed <laughs> like that. And maybe uh, some people would be interested in seeing how it's done. So what I start by doing is I build it up, obviously, like I have, and then I tear it all down <laughs> once I'm happy with it. And with the Insta mine, uh, it's really not a big deal. So next, what I will do is I'll start with the outside edges. So this edge here, we did want to be uh, somewhat heavy on the stone brick because of how it's the edge, right? I talked about that in the last video, and I'm actually going to need some here. And it's important to mix. And also what I'll try to do is keep the same, um, the same size, like the same size chunks. So it's never more than like three or four blocks in a row. And they kind of follow the same pattern. You can see I did it there too. They always kind of follow a really similar pattern. And that way, uh, when you're building, it, it's easier to kind of math out because you're always kind of doing the same thing. So I'll put one here like I did there. Yeah. And then I'll do like one, two, three, right? And then it's stone brick. And so they kind of line up ultimately. 
is the idea. <laughs> uh, it doesn't always look good on the first try, but it's a method that I found that kind of just helps make it go a little bit faster here. So now that we have this, we definitely want some here because this is like still structured under here. And now uh, we're going to fill it in with stone. That's the next step. And down here, we're going to want some too because it's uh, still sort of the structure area because it's like connecting to this roof. So technically there would be more, right? Uh, I'm no architect, but <laughs> that's what I think. And then can I reach this. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, F4 cam is really useful here. We take a step back, and I think that looks really nice. Wow. Okay, so before I had uh, full windows, but I think this build might look good with these like little indented windows. So the next one would go here, but we won't actually line these up exactly the same. I think that might look cool, but we're going to have to build it in C. Uh, I wish I had my scaffolding. Okay, and the last one, maybe like that one's there, that one's there, the next one, there should be two maybe at this level. So like one here, and then um, one, two, one, two, one right here, maybe. And again, I have no idea how this is going to look. <laughs> this is just uh, me recording and building it and just giving you guys an idea of the process. I Okay, I like these windows here. I think these look really good but i think that these it's either this or this it can't be both we're gonna look at that for a minute longer here and leave it and we'll come back to it <laughs> but it looks lopsided it looks like a dopey face a little bit right <laughs> but uh as for the texturing i think that looks really good i really do like the stone the rain really adds a lot of ambiance to the build here <laughs> hey everybody so I'm a little knuckles right now because the build is getting really big and I zoomed out from really far and I thought it was really funny how tiny I looked compared to it. <laughs> so I've been working on this wall here for a little while. Uh, I've decided to add some oak log and some smooth stone to the mix here just for the wall sections to sort of just give them a little bit more visual texture compared to the blandness of the stone. Um, I know that it's fairly different to what we were doing before with like the gate here how there's absolutely no smooth stone or oak well actually there's a little bit here and here <laughs> but in general there's not a lot of it but I think because the scope of this castle is so much bigger we're gonna need to add a few more blocks to vary uh the build style and palette a little bit or else it's gonna look like a big gray blob which is definitely not what we're looking for so the next step, I think I'm going to start designing the walls a little bit more and decorating them. Uh, this can't stay cobble, obviously, neither can this. But uh, I think we're really starting to get an interesting direction with this build. Okay, once again, I am back here with some more progress on the castle. Um, it's gone through quite a few changes <laughs> since the last clip, but uh, I think they're all for the better. So. The first thing that I've done here is I've actually changed my mind about how we're going to finish off this side of the castle. Uh, the door is going to be here because I built this entire thing and I realized, oh man, we don't have a door. And I know that I said that this is like, okay, hear me out. So this is the entrance to the base uh, and it's beautiful and I love it and it's grand, but this will be the entrance to the castle, which will unofficially eventually be linked to the base <laughs> uh is the the uh dominating idea right now but that could change with time i just thought it'd be nice to have a way in uh on foot so if ever i die or something and i have to walk it's doable and also out here we can have like a stable and stuff and like start building a village out here which would be really cool eventually maybe one day perhaps in a future video <laughs> oh it's a new day in real life and in minecraft everything's going better uh i don't know if i sounded depressed in that last clip but i was definitely getting really tired of building this <laughs> so i uh, i took the day off i've been working on this maybe like three or four days at this point with a few hours each day and it's it's getting to me so if you haven't liked the video please like the video <laughs> help me Help me finish this build because it's really cool, but it's definitely draining on my uh, mental, my mental capacities of building here. 
So I've done a lot of detailing at this point. I've done a lot of the texturing and I've done more roofs. And I've also actually started doing some interior and oh yeah, creeper blew up over here. I'll fix that later. I've started doing some interior. So this little gate room is gonna be decorated. And then in here, there's gonna be more. But keep in mind that a big chunk of what's actually gonna be like the castle in air quotes is gonna be inside the mountain, right? So past this wall in here is where a lot of it's gonna be. The big grand hall and everything is gonna be in there. Uh, out here is kind of just like a facade. So I'm not too worried about decorating. Obviously like this tower and stuff will be decorated. And I've started setting up, it's gonna be a little garden out here with a tree and a little garden out here as well. That's what the outdoor areas are gonna be. And another garden over here because I'm lazy <laughs> and I think gardens look really good. I think the pops of green are gonna add a lot of value to this build because right now like it's a big wall of gray with pops of red. So I think some more greenery will look really good. And that's pretty much it for this section. I have been so busy building and slowly chipping away at this thing for pretty much the entire day here. Uh, not that I'm complaining. <laughs> it's been really fun and it's been a really cool challenge for me to, to work on this. So I'm really happy. Uh, I'm gonna put a little clip here of what it looked like before versus now and like have like a cool little transition as I talk here. And you can just start to see like how much effort has gone into texturing and all that and the difference that it makes. Um, I've also added some trees, as you could probably tell from that little build montage between clips here. I've added some trees, I've added some bushes, some life around the edges of the build. Uh, down here, I did some terraforming just to fix it up and make it look a little bit cleaner. I think that makes a nice difference, but I'm still not sure what to do down there. I, uh, I keep like ping-ponging between ideas. <laughs> I can also show you guys uh, these courtyards are starting to get really oh, it's be dark here. Actually, uh, these courtyards are really starting to be completed. I think this one day will be open and inside will be something uh, for now, though. Like it's it is accessible to a certain extent. Like if I put a porch down and fly up here, um, there is an inside, but obviously we're going to dig it out and this is going to be like an area uh, for stuff and in here as well hasn't really changed but I did start bringing over my stuff I was kind of sick of flying to the other spot <laughs> so it's been going uh, it's been going pretty good if you're still watching the video I appreciate you because I feel like the progress isn't like super wow worthy between each um, like clip but that's just how I build stuff goes back and forth a lot for the finished product so now that we've kind of established like 90% of what it's going to be, obviously I still need to do this and this, but now that we've kind of established the look, I think we can start adding some more life, uh, some more life details to the build, because that's really what's going to bring it to life. Right now it kind of just looks like a pretty bland, lifeless castle. But when we add some elements that make it look like people live here, we're going to have a way nicer vibe coming out of this thing. So let's get to that now. So I'm just playing a little bit here uh, without shaders because I think it's important to see both sides. <laughs> Sometimes I play too much with shaders and the build looks a lot different without it, without all the shadows and etc. So this is what it looks like now. Um, the keen-eyed among you will probably notice the difference, though it's not that big, actually. Like, there's only a few little sections that have changed. Um, I've added some wood a little bit everywhere to make it look like there used to be something, maybe like a cage hanging or a lantern or something. I don't know. Maybe we'll expand on that in a little bit here. Um, I still want to add a bunch of fences and stuff. I've also done 
the tops of the towers. Well, but the tops of the towers here, I think they look really good and really menacing. Like if I go into free cam here and I look from like down here, I really like that profile on those towers. I think it looks really nifty. I still have to do that one, but I actually changed it into one of these. I think it makes more sense. And now like probably 99% of the texturing is done. So to finish off the outside of the castle here, we still need to do a couple of little things. I think that'll really make it pop. Um, the first one is the magic of bushes. All right, hear me out. Um, bushes around a build make any build so much better. <laughs> so like these trees added some love and some life that was much needed. And now we're just going to start peppering them like around the base of each of these and maybe some hanging and stuff. But it's going to add so much more life to the build. And I think that's actually probably one of the last things we're going to have to do to this before we can call the outside of it done. So let's grab some leaves. And I think I actually have some moss inside here. And obviously, like, not all the walls are done yet. <laughs> uh, the more inner ones, I, I'm going to leave um, for later because those are going to depend on how we want to decorate. So let's start, like, over here. All right, let's just... Actually, we shouldn't hide these. These are expensive. We just start to, you know, blast this a little bit of leafage like this. And I try not to care too much about the placement. I think that kind of makes it better because it's more natural. Uh, you know, try to think of how they would fall normally. So a little bush there and more bushes over here. And actually that can, yeah, that can tie into that tree. That's cool. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, just like that. Take a little step back here. Um, oh yeah, I also wanted to mention. Um, so not only did this build cost me like about a double chest of stone, um, it also costed me about a shulker box of rockets. Uh, I need to set up a better creeper farm at some point because the one that I made uh, was is a pretty laughable attempt, and it's it's. I'm suffering <laughs> like flying back and forth to the storage room and you know trying to get a nicer look at this castle so like flying to the bridge and coming back has cost me a fortune and actually we should put some more here um also in the last video I did mention that I was putting like horse dirt at the bottom and I think it looked really good there but I think honestly like the scale of this one is just so much bigger that it won't really make that big of a difference. Might be a hot take. Some of you might be saying, no, you need to add it. But uh, I probably won't. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, let's change out this block. And like, maybe some moss over here. Yeah, wrap it around. And let's turn on shaders. See how that looks. Ooh. Okay, that is looking... Whoa, that's a lot of lag. <laughs> that is looking absolutely incredible i'm really happy with it and now all that's left for this build i think for now is obviously down there and also the inside okay we're going to drop shaders it's too laggy uh also the inside here so it's going to go into the hill like i mentioned it's going to be a pretty big build uh eventually but we'll probably come back to it because i would really love some ideas from you guys to incorporate like what should be inside the castle i do have a few ideas for a few farms that'll be in here but of course i'm always looking for feedback and i really love the input that you guys are giving me on these videos it's really making the world something special so please let me know what should i put inside the castle <laughs> how could you guys let me forget that i didn't put any flags on the castle <laughs> i feel like that's kind of uh, a really important part so let's do that now. Is that too tall? Is five too tall? Hmm. This is a big decision. No, that's perfect. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do like I think we're gonna do like a blue plus. Um like that. Yeah. And then maybe like this or like a white stripe or something. I don't know. I don't know how to make uh flags but i feel like the build won't be completed without it <laughs> this is the really important part of the build 
and we're almost done the episode and I haven't added it in yet, which is pretty crazy. Um, okay, down here, like this, then down, yeah, 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 like that. I think that should be cool. And we remove these little blocks here. Then we take a little step back the rocket. We go to our usual viewing spot. How does it look? Yeah, I like that. That actually, that does it. But you know what? I think it's too, too high and like precarious. It feels like, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it should like, let's try. I feel like the fences look like twigs from super far away and it's not super good. Let's do that. How does that look? See, this is the this is like the annoying part of the process is like just changing out one little block. Yeah, okay, that's better. Okay, let's do the other flag. Let's try to make it a little bit different. Well, should it be different? Probably be the same, right? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, okay, so jump up like this. And how many is it? Three, two, three, and then it's blue blue white blue blue over one actually that's not even true uh over one then we can get down then it goes white white blue yes okay and the final one and i think this is what it was missing because i mean i okay full disclosure uh, I finished the episode here. I have it recorded. I have it uploaded on YouTube right now, unlisted, ready to go. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to put the flags on the castle. And I can't, I can't release the video without the flags, right? It's just not right. It's just not done. So <laughs> we got to do it. Let's take a look at that from a far away distance here. How does it look? Oh yeah. That is the stuff. And you know what? We're going to go all out here. We're actually going to add another flag here. And that means that I'm also going to have to remake the thumbnail. So if you've seen the thumbnail with the flags, just know there's an identical one without the flags somewhere on my computer. <laughs> uh, sometimes I have a really hard time uh, calling a video finished. And you'll probably actually notice I uh, deleted a bunch of videos from my channel because I have a really hard time with, like, stuff being just okay, you know? Okay, how many is that? Three? So, one, one, two, three. Okay, this one doesn't belong. And this, that, one, three. Okay, blue, blue, white, blue, blue. And then, right here, blue. Oh. White, white, blue. Yes. All coming together. And then... Uh, man, I need some better scaffolding block here. Okay. White, blue, blue. And we use three different tools to remove all these blocks I put down. Okay. I want that back. All right. Let's take a look at that now. And oh, you know what? Maybe we could add more fences too to the castle. I feel like a bit of... A bit of brown would look really good here, but maybe we'll do that later. I need to uh, take a break and think about it. Oh, there it is. That's it. Okay, now we can officially call this castle completed. <laughs> oh, and we're also going to need some really cool name ideas for this place. So if you have any interesting like mythical old school names uh i'm all for it so definitely send those in the comments below i also just realized i haven't actually uh looked at the castle from down here which is probably where we're gonna see it pretty often because of you know coming in through boats and stuff and oh man that looks so cool and so imposing <laughs> that is a big build <laughs> oh man I just love when you build something and you're just like super happy with how it looks. No, no compromise. Like it just looks cool. I, I love it. So if you watched this part of the video, I just want to say a really big thank you to you. You're amazing. <laughs> Not a lot of people make it to this section. Um, if you like the castle, 
and you want to see more of it, please let me know. Like, I'm probably going to make a video about in the interior next week or the week after, whenever I find time and inspiration uh, to do the entire inside of the castle and link all these towers up. I think it's going to be really cool. But uh, until then, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next week. And also, thank you for 2,000 subscribers. That's absolutely insane. <laughs> all right, take care. Bye-bye.